So for young people who come to the refuge, they've often had a really tough time heading here and they found themselves without support and without a place to live. The majority of young people who come through the refuge have experienced domestic and family violence and relationship breakdown. We also do have a lot of young people who have got mental health issues as well as substance, substance abuse issues which then affects their relationship and their family um, and that, that home environment for them can break down. We have roughly between 70 and 90 young people per year come through. It's a six to eight week program and in that time frame we're trying to get young people independent as well as house them and address any needs. So it can be things that we would take for granted, granted like you know, knowing how to wash dishes, actually shower ourselves, cook meals, basic hygiene, um, right up to then addressing drug and alcohol issues, mental health issues, trying to re-engage them with family. Also getting them back into education, training back into the workforce. But I guess it's not a social class and people, you know, can be quite, you know, they'll stereotype and it, there's, there's no class homelessness so it can actually affect anybody. When they come here we are like an open door for them. Um, they have a roof over their heads, really nice environment to stay in. They feel safe here, they're supported. <laughs>